thing says group therapy night. I don't even remember what that is because it's been like seven years. It's been three weeks. But regardless, it's group therapy night. Hi, Mike. Mike, did you know it's group therapy night? Because it's group therapy night. No, good morning to you, Dommy. Yes, I am a sexy beastie. No, I am neither of those things. I'm a beast, though. It's because Meow. I am a bear. Meow. You got the meow meows over there? Meow. Ah. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, I am full of steak because I ate steak. I made steak for dinner. Hi, Sammy. I love you. I love you more. Yeah. Boom. Got her. Um, oh, that reminds me. I added a new feature. It's not a feature that I added per se, but... Oh, yeah, Dom. There will be meat picks. Don't worry about that. Um, Dom! So, I have the Twitch pronouns extension in my browser. Um, I have for a very long time, but I've added a command to the bot. So... You can go there and set up the uh, the extension. Uh, let me go edit that real quick, because I don't know why it doesn't like trailing slashes. Like, that's, that's only been standard since, like, 1967. And I joke, but it's not much further back than that. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you would like to set your pronouns you can go there, set up the browser extension, and also log in with your Twitch account so that you can choose your pronouns. Um, and then uh, it'll show people's pronouns. For example, uh, you can see my he, him in the chat. Uh, you can see Sammy's she, her in the chat. Um, Mike, I don't know if they have they, he as like the, the option. I think, I know they have he, they, but I don't know if they have they, he. Because I know you prefer... Yeah, they have he, they, and they have they, them. But they don't have they, he. Well, it's okay. It's okay. You mean he, they? They have he, they, but they don't have they, he. Because... La, he. La, he. Um, like, Mike prefers they first before he. Oh, okay. So, Mike will take both, but prefers they. No, that's fair. I, I've not... I don't think I've heard that reverse order before. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a new thing the bot does. Um, see, Mike? I'm keeping up. I keep up with you, buddy. I love you. Mwah. Um... But yeah, it's a uh, it's it's group therapy night, and uh, I you know we haven't had just a sit down and and bitch session for a long time. So I think it's time for us to sit down and complain about life and tell each other that it's gonna be okay. And 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 Mike, I am also a unique specimen, just in a different way than you are a unique specimen. It's true. Which makes us both unique. It's true. It's true. I am also unique in so much as that I am a bear with a stream usually wait what yeah yeah what what <laughs> wait wait reverse there you go reverse I did it I, I did the thing for you um okay I think that's enough of that um let's see oh uh Friday Friday we're co-streaming with Ray uh so uh, we love Ray um, very, very much. So Ray's we're streaming. Cool. Huh? I said Ray's pretty cool. It's true. Okay, blind pick. Okay. Um, I want. What is this? Ooh, I picked Greek yogurt. Yes. Nice. Um. So yes, we love Ray very much. He's wonderful and beautiful and adorable and a sweet angel baby and. He's sometimes he doesn't know things, but that's okay. And we love him. We love him because of it. Um, so we're streaming Star Wars Battlefront 2 Woo on Friday with him. Um, let's see. Sunday we're being sus. Reverse! Reverse! 
I don't know what you're talking about. Um, to you being uh, lovely and wonderful and all that stuff you were saying about. Oh. Right? It's also true about you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting you, friend. I'm, you're cutting out. I can't. I can't. Here. This is this is Krakow's stream. This is what this is. And I'm wearing a frog hat. It's, it's just not okay, questioning. You this know, is just how it is around here. That's a fair point. You know, matter. You make an excellent point. Um. I don't know, Mike. Give me a second. Let me put this frog hat on real quick. You make a good point, don't I? Yeah. Okay, look at kittens. Oh, yeah, well. Close it out. The dude abides. Yeah, I'll just, you know what? We're just gonna. We're just doing it all. We're just we're gonna just, get, yeah, get it going. We're just gonna go ahead. Let me go ahead and put on, like, the chill station. Oh, I did crackle mode to try to do crackle mode before crackle got here. You, well, if Krako ends up showing up. Also, hi, buddy. How are you? Good. for group therapy night. Let me see. I know Krako's doing the Minecraftins. Where is the volume mixer? And always hoping for more images of Ali's kitties. Oh, the kitties. Okay. That's like the best kind of therapy. It's looking at. It's true. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if I don't accidentally unplug my uh, <clears throat> webcam, I'm good to show them off. All right, overloaded by the power of the cuteness. I did. I did. Uh, I was showing before. I did build the uh, the giant cat tree. It is uh like five feet tall. <clears throat> there you go, lollipop. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Can you see my, can you see Matter? Oh, I'm climbing up. Matter, do you see her cat tree? There we go. Allie Pup's showing off her cat tree, tree that she built. She's mm -hmm. showing it in the uh, the Discord call. I'll show it in just a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get McSmiles to show you his entire outdoor kitty playground that he built. Oh, uh, well, if I get this house that, um, that I'm hopefully getting, um, there will be a catio there for sure. There's mm, 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 mm. one. Oh, catio. Mm. Greek yogurt was a good pick. Well done, me and Dom. Great team effort all around. Very, well, very happy with it all. Yogurt seems to just improve everything. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so, um, Mike, yours is going to be in a few weeks. So, this week we've got Star Wars Battlefront Two Woo. Next week, um. We're playing Remnant from the Ashes. The following week, which is November the 12th, um, I will probably not be here. No, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. That's the 5th. So the 5th is... Yeah, okay, okay. I got my I got my, my numbers mixed up for a second. So I'm looking at the schedule right now. Um, the, yeah, so Star Wars Battlefront 2 woos this Friday. The 29th is Remnant from the Ashes that Lollipop picked. The 5th is scheduled for Worms WMD that Matter picked. Uh, Matter, oh, you want to yeah. co-stream with me that night, bud? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, and then... As long as, that, as long as it wasn't on the 19th. <laughs> okay, that's that that works. Uh, the 12th is the day that I, I probably won't be here um, because that is a special holiday in this house. Um, we call it Waffle Day. Um, so I will probably I'm intrigued. tell me more. Yeah, wait, is this an open holiday? Can I adopt this? Because I, I stay in Waffle Day. You can have you can have your own Waffle Day. It just isn't our Waffle Day. It's it's a very specific day between me and Bean. Um, it's it's the day we celebrate um, us uh, meeting online. I'm pretty sure that was that was what it was. Waffles are a very big basis of our our relationship. Why it's a healthy one, amongst other reasons. Right. Let's see.
yeah Uber so friday weddings the 19th is the launch day if you you ordered uh endwalker for final fantasy oh that's true yeah um and yeah and walker's coming mm-hmm you're you're totally gonna gonna sprint through the msq to get there huh <laughs> no no i'm absolutely not gonna absolutely not no uh, listen if i sprint through the msq who will do the side quest also dom thank you for that lurk buddy i love you enjoy all three of your meetings <laughs> um so let's see so yeah so waffle day waffle day is on the 12th of november um which it's funny like all the the special like bean's favorite little group of days happen within t 13 days of each other because halloween's on october 31st the 6th is her birthday and the 12th is waffle day um and when's your birthday i don't have a birthday uh so that's like her favorite little like two week period is where all the the, the fun stuff happens for her uh so Mike, we'll probably play we'll probably play Psychonauts on the nineteenth is what it looks like right now. That's the that's the current plan. Um Yeah, no. No, I don't I don't have one of those. We don't talk about it. It doesn't exist. <clears throat> we could uh go the reverse path of that and until you tell us your birthday every day is your birthday no no then i will just quit <laughs> i will quit i will quit over this hey i have a i have a bullshit call coming in should i answer it it's a spam call do it okay hello but only only answer what they say with questions hello hello hi my name is michael i am calling you from how are you? Uh, what can I do for you? Yes, sir, actually, the reason of my call, we are providing information about solar energy program. Are you the homeowner? Did you know my number's on the National Do Not Call Registry? There it is. That's always fun. I love that one. I love and that one. It was only questions. That was like multiple goods there. Yeah, yes. you're welcome. You're welcome. Listen. Listen, I can make it happen. I oh. literally saw a post today that just said, hey, remember how a few years ago we were all like, what are we going to do to put an end to these robocalls? And then nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nope. Nope. That, that is the American way. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. We did nothing and we're all out of ideas. Okay. I feel like the music's a little low. You're a little low. I don't. Well, that's, that's because I have this really deep voice. A little you low you. I heard that Shorty got low. Get get low, get low, get low. Get wrecked, nerd. Yes. Also, yes. <laughs> I might put on like the the depressing <laughs> piano music. That was hot. Excuse me. I want to put on. Yeah, I want to change it to the piano. I'm feeling piano-y tonight. You know, you ever just feel piano-y? I do. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, Ray. Yep. Yep. I love that Ray bookended that message with fucking lemma fouls. Like like he committed to it, which is just just chef's kiss. Ray, by the way, uh we were talking Hi, about Ray. something earlier that I think that you will uh it's true we were talking about you. Um while we're on the subject. First of all, once again, if you're not following Ray, you really should be. He is our sweet gay angel baby, and we love him so much. Um, and second, we are um, we're co-streaming together on Friday because we're playing Star Wars Battlefront Two. Woo! Um, you are a gay angle. That's that's right. You are, and we love you for it. A gay angle. Yes, he's oh, a gay that's, angle. Just, just that's a little obtuse. Just 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 let him have it. Just I let feel him. like it's pretty acute, actually. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. Aww. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Come on, don't be such a square. 
There it is. There uh, it is. I'm not a square. I am a triangle. <laughs> well, you're not right. That's for sure. <laughs> I, as a uh, I did gay it on purpose. Angle, I promise. Gay angle. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. How do you how do you change baby? <laughs> Infant. Uh. Potato. Excuse Potato. Me. Spawn. Potato. I normally put in the right angle emoji and see the emoji, but I'm on keyboard right now. Lol. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. What are you doing? Meow. Um. I don't know see. where kittens are. Kittens have just wandered off. They've just. They're just. They're boom. somewhere. Have you had cats before, Ali? Yes. Have you had kittens before? Yes. So you should be. I I oh, fostered. Wait, wait, wait. Where are the kittens? I fostered this two so sisters, great. and when I um, when I took them in to get spayed, because they were from a rural shelter in West Virginia, so I took them in to get them spayed, and they're like, "Well, we can spay her, but she's pregnant." And I said, "How? Huh, what? what? Huh? Who? What?" So I had I I dealt with an entire pregnancy, and then seven kittens. And seven kittens. And and the the mom, her name was Sunshine, and she was like seven and a half pounds, and she had seven healthy kittens. By the time she was done being pregnant, she looked like there was a football turned sideways in her belly. Like, it was ridiculous. Good lord. I'm just uh, happy that while well, you did go with Harley and Hayden, you did go with the very first option I suggested out of all of my suggestions. Mm-hmm. I'm doing all right, Ray. Uh, I'm so... I'm... I'm a little nervous. Uh, I've got an interview coming up in the next few days. Um, Matter, thanks for the host, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, I got a, uh, I got an interview coming up in the next few days because I have a, I applied for a job at work. So, um, well, look, you said it without grumbling this time. I'm so proud of you. Listen, I'm not done. I haven't. I'm not done. Yeah, but but you didn't even get that far into talking about it before. Mm. No, he hasn't even talked about the part where he's going to end up being my boss. Oh, see, <laughs> you had to bring it up. <sighs> yes, doing, John he, will be the, he will be the adultiest adult. In in my defense, in my defense, this I isn't technically for everyday hustling. Matter, thank you for gifting that sub to Mike. I appreciate you, buddy. Matters matters just being the nice tonight. I love you, Matter. You big the nice. What are you talking about? You you big you big fuzzy man. Um. So, I. It, it's not technically John Snowing this time, because yeah, you actually you actually applied for this one. I applied for this one. Now it was John Snowing the first couple of times because the first time. A develop okay. Let, let me let me let's back up a little bit. So I've been known to Jon Snow a couple of times in my career. For those of you who are not familiar with Game of Thrones, Jon Snow is a very key character in Game of Thrones. For those of you who are, you understand this bit, where Jon Snow kept getting management positions that he never asked for or necessarily wanted. Okay. Um, so the first time it happened was our development manager was stepping away from his role to go into a chief architect role for the piece of software that we worked on. This was over at Lab Tech Lollipop. Um, yes. yeah, so he stepped over to this new role to be chief architect so where he didn't have to manage people. All he had to do was focus on big picture technology stuff, which he's amazing at. Um, so he, so they opened up his position. You know, he left a vacant position, so they opened it up for folks to apply for it. So I went into at the time he was the VP of the product. Um, uh, so I went into his office, and I'm like, listen. I'm thinking about applying for this job. I don't know. Do you think it's worth both my and your time for me to apply for it? He's so he's like, close the door. I'm like, okay. He goes, you can apply for it if you want. 
but we were just going to let you know that we're actually creating a second app dev manager position for you to be in. Like they created a second manager position for me. And I'm like, oh, okay. So sure. You should apply for that one. Huh? You should apply for that one. <laughs> I should apply for that one, right? I didn't, I didn't even have to apply. Like, He's like, no, he's like, we're like, you can apply for the one or you can take the one that we're going to give you that we're going to promote you into. And I'm like, you know, sure, I'll, I'll take it. Um, now, listen, y'all say hells. Yeah, it was the structure around me was not great at that time. Also, hello, Jason Lamb. The structure around me wasn't great. It wasn't ideal because um, like he God love him. He wasn't a very effective manager for me. Um, so his management style and mine clashed a lot. Now, do not get me wrong. The team that I ended up having, it was incredible. I had like the dream team of developers at this place because like I had a bunch of junior developers and some mid levels, one guy who was senior level who had just, they didn't promote him into it at that point. Um, who's like one of the best developers I've ever met in my life. And Lollipop, you bet your ass I've been trying to poach him ever since. Um, but like I had this incredible team of people that just were like, they were the best. They were hands down the best developers. And part of that was because I got to handpick most of them. Most of them that were on my team, I hired them. Um, so that was, you know, obviously I was going to pick ones that I knew would work well with me and the rest of the team, but like consistently always producing like the best stuff, the most stuff. And like, we all just got along and had a lot of fun. Like we had, I, I know a couple weeks ago when we were playing Mario Kart, we talked about that tournament that we had here. Like, well, not here at the old house, like several years ago that was mostly with that team so like they all came over and hung out and bean did what she normally does and murdered everyone in mario kart um but like it was that was a really fun time so like you know we hung out as a group a lot like just my my group so that was the first time it happened the second time it happened was a few years later, same company, and um, I moved to this completely new team. This was like the the Island of Misfit Toys, okay? We were sort of like this group of people that, that they didn't want to put anywhere else, but they also couldn't really fire, and I voluntarily joined this team. I'm like, I want to go work over there. I want to, I want to be on this team because I, I knew everybody on this team. I liked everybody on this team and the guy that was in charge of that team, phenomenal manager, like just night and day difference from the one I had before. Um, so it started off where we had me, a couple of like the minority owners of the company who were on the team doing like miscellaneous code bullshit. Um, a couple of data analytics and, and reporting folks and my boss. And when we, when we really started to spin up this, like the dev side of this team, when I joined it, um, we started off for the first few months, um, trying to like come up with projects on our own, like just little things here and there, and basically just throwing stuff to the wall to see what stuck. Um, and, we were like all the stuff that we were doing f was for our what they called services and education, which encompassed all the product support teams, the consulting teams, so like the paid services teams, um, documentation, stuff like that. Um, but mostly we worked next to and with the product support teams. Um, so we started off building, I started off building like a shit ton of tools. For the product teams, for the support teams, um, just to make it a lot easier. And the one that I started like building the biggest tools for was the one that supported the product that I had worked on for three and a half years because I knew the product inside and out. So I'm like, what better, you know, 
team to start building for than this one because I know all the shit they have to deal with. Um, I don't, I don't, I, was that a tools what? giggle? Who giggled at tools? I don't know. I don't think anybody. No, giggled. I was giggling at the kitten. Yeah. Yeah. Allie's playing with the kittens right now. So she's, she's, she's giggling at the kittens being very cute and fuzzy. Um, I mean, look at him. He, he is very cute and fuzzy. Um, so I started building. I mean, a bunch I would of tools normally giggle this. at tools, by the way, but I was actually giggling at the kitten that time. It's true. It's true. Both of these are true facts. Um, so like we started building, like I started building these tools, and like it got to a point to where like we we started like just building a bunch of random shit, and then we got this massive backlog of requests, like almost overnight because the one team was so happy with the shit that we were making for them that like every other team was like, Hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And then there were other teams outside of like this part of the company that were like, can you do stuff for us? And I'm like, I'd love to, but I can't because one, I, I don't work for that your group and I have to prioritize this one. And two, I already have all of the shit that we have to do now because now everybody wants us to build shit. And this ended up being like, like one of the things I'll never forget was we had, um, I built like this form, like a form, like it was literally just a form that, um, the customer service team used, um, for when, uh, like a customer was trying to terminate their service and like, they finally got to the point. It's like, okay, they're, they're done. They've, they've done everything that they've, they're going to try to do. And so I built out a form because norm what they were doing was basically doing this long form, typing everything out and trying to do it in a specific format, manually creating a ticket on their service board, all this bullshit. Point is, I made a form to make the yeah. whole thing automated so they could fill in the fields, click a button. It would go into a database. Uh, actually, it, I think I just did it directly from the system. Anyway, then the manager could go in, approve stuff as, as she needed to, and boom, bing, bang, boom. It was done. It was done. It saved them. Basically, yeah. I, I replaced like a person's worth of work on that team. So they freed up enough work to where they could have another person working on like other shit. And like the first week they had the tool, like the manager, she went home and her husband's like, What's going on with you? Why are you acting weird? And she's like, what do you mean? He's like, you don't seem miserable at work. Like you've come home and you're not miserable. And she's like, oh, she's like, well, like I had just had this huge thing, this burden lifted off of me because like now we have this automated tool to let us do this thing. It took me like two weeks to build and it was done and like it just worked for him. But it was a big deal to her and her team. So like they they got us a cake like me and the, the one dude that was like helping me out with it. And like they brought, they got us a card and a cake. I still have the cards in a box downstairs, but like the fact that they thought enough to get us a, a card and a cake. I'm like, Holy shit. Like it felt like I was doing something like worthwhile and useful. And I was like, damn, this was, that was kind of amazing. So that team started to expand because we were doing all of this really cool stuff and everybody wanted us to do it. So we needed to hire more developers. So we got to the developers. point where we were going to hire developers. the first one. Developers, developers, developers. So we got to the point where we were going to hire the first new developer. And I go in my boss's office. I shut the door. I'm like, okay, we got to talk about this. He's like, yeah, I know. I said... I'm going to go ahead and put in the paperwork because I had been putting in paperwork for HR for new hires for years. I'm like, I'm going to go put in the paperwork. Do you want me to have them report to you? Or do you want me to just go ahead and put them reporting to me and uh, we'll ask for forgiveness? He's like, just put them reporting to you and if anybody says anything, we'll deal with it. And that's how I John snowed myself into a second management position. So Good job. Yeah. Great hustle. Look at, look at yeah. him. All okay. hail the king of the north. Oh. Look at him. I'm All dying. Right. I'm dead. All right. I gotta I gotta I gotta show the kitty. I gotta show the kitty real quick. All right. Yeah, let's... that one keeps meowing, so it's gotta be Jay. Mm-mm. No, this isn't the one that was meowing. 
Oh, so this, is one, oh, this is Lunchbox. That's Lunchbox. It looks very, it looks very similar. It's yeah. just so he's got a little break in the white on his nose, and Jay's is solid. Yeah. So there's there's Miss Alley Pup and one of her new kittens. That's that's Lunchbox. By the way, Silent Bob, aka Lunchbox. By the way, um, as if you didn't know already, because she spends so much time with us over here, and we love her so very much. <gasps> oh, 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 that's me. Oh. That's you. That's you. I oh, that's me. Yeah, I checked. I I made sure. Also, personally. I'm wearing I'm wearing an Ayla shirt tonight. You are wearing an Ayla shirt. I noticed that. It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um. So anyway. Mm. What's up, hair monster? So yeah, that was. <sighs> so this when is I one say of my new babies. Yeah, the babies. Very cute babies. So when I say I John Snow myself, this is what I talk about. It was like how I accidentally keep getting management positions. This one I actually applied for, although I feel like it was what? it would have been kind of like thrust on me regardless. Uh because we had um That's why consent is important. Also, yes, that's I'll thrust upon you. That's that's threaten also... me with a good time. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Um, so also, I had uh, so I've been on this team at work now for just, just about like right at two years because I've been at work at the credit union where Lollipop and I work uh, for just over two years now, and we formed this team right after we all started. Um. So we're about to start on like this new major initiative where we're going to completely redesign and rebuild our online and mobile banking from the ground up because it's older. Um, it, the credit union's growing. The um, the team has been growing. So we're just it's, it's like it's getting to that point where we need to like modernize our stuff because it works like our mobile and online banking stuff work, but God, they're ugly as sin. They really are not great looking and they're really not a great like user experience. Okay. So we're, we're getting ready to have like this, this brand new initiative spin up. I didn't, Mike. I didn't know you worked for a credit union. Okay, Mike does. Sammy used to. This is this is wild. The 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 amount of us that like work in and around finance now is kind of scary because like Gibbs Uwu works for um, a mortgaging provider. What the hell? Realize um, we write software that uh, interacts with people's finances. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't just, freak just let me. that sink in for. A moment. Yeah, that doesn't freak me the fuck out at all. No, no, no. Ice no, bear no, good. I'm... More ice bear. More good. Uh, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Um. Oh. Oh. No, I. You know what? I don't. I don't know that I do. I don't think I like that username. Do you like that username? I. It took me a second to realize what that username means. Yeah, I don't like that. So, uh, you, you know, no. Goodbye. Uh, anyway, um, it's a 15 minute old account. Like, I don't care. Wow. Wow. Did you see that? Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, uh -huh. yeah, no, no. I don't, yeah, I don't like no, that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that one either. Nope. Uh, anyway, uh, so, um, as part of working on this like big brand new. Oh my God, Sammy! You work in what we would call Jen is an investment banker. That's wild, uh, Sammy. You work in what we would call our MCC um, or our member call center. So, um, that's basically like the same thing. Like it's almost exact. It's, it's it's the exact same thing. Who am I kidding? I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, no, you're fucking. Yeah, that's fair. That one was, yeah, that, that one wasn't my best work. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Meredith, you know, come back to me. <gasps> Froggy, Froggy's here. Froggy, Froggy, I love you, friendo. Um, oh my god, all like all of Ray's people are coming over here, and I love it. Uh, so we uh, 
we're going to start working on this big initiative, except for our team. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Matter. Matter, I love you. Thanks, buddy. Um... No, that's okay. Elena, we talked about this. It's not Jon Snowing if I specifically applied for the job. Okay, let, let's, let's, I'm, I'm still, okay. Like, I'm doing what I do best and I'm drawing out this fucking story. Um, so, as part of this new initiative to build out this ice brand good. new, more ice bear, more good. Froggy, thank you for the follow, friendo. I love you. Um, also, does that how close does that put me to Oh god. Oh, I just refreshed the the the, the dashboard in Twitch and it's they changed shit again. Um I mean, I get it, but oh god. Um by the way, that means that I'm now only 10 away. Yeah, I'm I'm 10 followers away from uh from the giveaway holy shit i've been tr i've been working towards this for like fucking six plus months uh anyway but Sunder, what are you giving away uh three month game pass ultimate subscription to one lucky viewer um but yes that is that is a hell's yeah that is a hell's yeah um i'm very very excited um so as part of this new initiative, we're going to get like another development team because we have we have four teams right now. Uh, ours, our team works only on the internal use stuff. So the, the stuff that the folks in the call center and the branches use to manage member accounts. Um, Viv, I did know that. Viv, I played Java today. I was in Java today and I have witnesses. And I they, saw it. They are on the call. They saw me in Java good. today. I saw More it. Bear. More good. Oh God! No, no, Mike, don't, no, 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 Mike, don't do, don't do it. I mean, do it, but don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it, Mike. No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do it. I wanna do it legitimately. Like I don't, I, pre I appreciate you, buddy, but I'm, I wanna, I wanna get this organically. I wanna, I wanna make sure I, I'm doing it right. Microsoft did state during a some some game show like a while ago that their eventual goal is to sync up all of the different Minecraft versions. And yeah, just have one version so that you could play on PC console. You could even play the mobile version, and it's all the same, and you could all play together. Ice bear, good. Their More ice bear. Goal. More good. Yeah, and that's that's they've been working like a, they've been working on feature parity for. Java and Bedrock for a while. Um, it, it, like the biggest thing is that like Java has years and years of code base on Bedrock. Like it's just it's been around so much longer, so it's hard when they're like building for another entire platform that has to serve least common denominator, which means like you know it, you can play it on like a high powered crazy PC, or you can also play it on a phone or um, a console, you know, like it's, they've got to like filter for everything. Um, oh, I remember Ray. I was there that night. I was there. I watched that chaos ensue. Um, so I, um, ice bear. Good. More ice bear. More good. This is, this is going to happen for the next several minutes. I want you to know that this is just Mike is causing chaos now because that's what they do. Um, so we have our team that does the internal tool. We have our architecture team that handles like like high level um, uh, um, like design, like architecture decisions for how we build our our applications. Um, in our services and things like ice bear, that. Good, more ice bear, more good. Damn it, Mike! Will you quit? Um, see, here it comes. I told y'all, just be prepared for this. 
Uh, we have our one team that currently works on the online and mobile banking stuff. And then we have our operations team, which is kind of like our break fix and like um, junior dev team. Uh, so they're going to, that team's going to transition into working on the new online and mobile banking. The Ice current one's good. still going to be there. More, Ice bear. More good. Mike's still following me from a, like random accounts. Um, and they're going to hire a new team to also work on all of this. He and his 20 accounts are here. Here comes the mic. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. Mike does. Mike, Mike literally has like fucking 20 accounts. Like I'm not even like you joke, but good. like more ice bear. More good. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This kind of shit right here. Um, so, um, we, uh, we're going to change some things around at work because of this huge initiative. And one of the things that we're changing is we're losing our manager. Our manager after is going just to go. Ice bear good. More ice bear. More after good. just losing our scrum coach, after just losing our PO, after just losing our BA, which it's, you know, he's still there. It doesn't count. Um, but like the point is we have, um, we have, uh, a new, a new business analyst, a new product owner. Uh, we have no scrum coach right now. More good. Yeah. That's, that's, that's more Mike. Hi Fritz. How you doing, bud? Um, and now we're going to get a new manager because our manager is going to shift over to like be the manager for all these teams for this new big initiative. So he has one focus and he's able to just work on just the externally facing stuff, the member facing stuff and not the ice internal bear stuff. More ice bear, more good. Yeah, that's that's once again that's yeah. Yeah, here we go. Turned up up. I feel like this is cheating. I feel like this is cheating. Take it. Uh, how, how listen, listen, listen. You are ice affiliated good. More ice with bear. More good. This, with these people. Right? Oh, hey, look, you did it. Holy shit. I do like that Twitch has the built-in thing now. I like that Twitch has built-in goals now so it can show in chat and stuff. Follower goal met. Hi, Kit. Oh, Kit, Kit wants to come hang out. Hi, Kit. Hello, lovely. There's a kit. Maybe yeah. some of you, and and is it good that the manager gets to concentrate on the project solely? It is. It 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 really is because. Yeah. Uh, no, Ray. It's fine. It's fine. It's listen. It's okay. Uh, I had to eat dinner. What did I miss? I don't know, Mike. What did you miss? You just missed all this excitement. It's just it's Here wild. Here comes the mic. <laughs> Um, Hello, Mike. Uh, yeah, it is. It is good that he's going to go focus on just that because now he won't have to be like a dev manager of two like basically opposite facing products because that whole group is going to just be working on all the external stuff. Our team is continue is going to continue being the one team that works on just the internally facing stuff that only employees use. So. Um, it, it, it's uh, yes, it is a good move. It it makes it makes sense from every angle, and I'm very I'm very happy because I it's it it works. You know it it's it's the way it should be. Um, but that leaves an opening for the manager for our team, which we only have five developers. It would be a manager who manages literally just the five developers. Uh, which are me, Lollipop, two contractors, and the the other senior developer uh, who started the same day as Lollipop. Um, so uh, when this got announced, my first thought was, I should probably apply for this because 
it's it's the team and I want to make sure I got to I got to protect the team. I got to do it for the band. For the band? For the band? For the band? For the band? One band, one sound. What? Oh god. Oh, so ah, there's, there's drumline ah, again. Someone's in drumline again. Um so for the band um for oh, the greater good the greater good <laughs> shot it um <laughs> so uh, my first thought was yeah let's do this but then my second thought was like wait no 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 i've been down this road twice <sighs> granted this was at a different company that was not a great company, and the first time wasn't a great management structure either. Just, you know, yeah, yeah. And two amazing movies from one amazing director. Although, let's just, for a second, let's remind ourselves and each other that while Scott Pilgrim may have been a fantastic movie, Scott Pilgrim is a shitbag character, and he should, he's, he's just the actual worst. So you should not. You mean the fact he was a pedophile? Also, yes. Among other things, but yes. Um. But yeah, so. No, no, Ray. No, we. No one watches that movie for for him. I think. I think everybody watches that movie for for everybody but him. Um. (laughs) Especially Mary Elizabeth Winstead's massive array of different colored hairs. It's true. It's true. She changes it like every week, dude. Get used to it. Um, Wallace. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. The music, the visuals, the hot by curious girl. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. All those are and, great reasons. And her, and her seven evil ex boyfriends, exes. Seven evil exes, yes. Why do you keep correcting that? <laughs> Michael like, Sarah know, is... Yeah, but all I know is the fact that he he that they get killed by because he ate something that wasn't vegan. And it's just the most amusing thing to me. Okay, so let's let's What's let's right? God damn it. We're we're gonna sidetrack. Sidetrack number two of the night. Um okay, so a couple of things. One, there are not one, but two, two Avengers in that movie that are, okay, because yes, Chris Evans, Captain fucking America himself is Evil X number three, and was it three or four? He's one of the later ones. Okay. Um, And then, and then, uh. Oh, yeah, he's the skateboarding movie star, right? He's the he's, yeah. that's right, that's yeah. right. He's this really good skater who's also this pretty good actor. Um, and then, uh, oh, wait, Johnny maybe he's Storm. number two. He's number two, that's right, yes, Fritz, that's right. He's number two, also, yes, hot girls are hot. Um, and then, uh, Scott's ex, um, uh, Envy Adams is Captain Marvel, it's Brie Larson. So yes, there are two Avengers in this uh, in this movie. Superman and Superman. Then and we Superman. have Superman because Brandon Routh oh. is. Let's not call him Superman. Let's call him the Atom because he was better Both. as that. Both. Okay, but sure. he also sure. he also played Superman in the whole CW verse. He did that at one point too. Oh, right. Yeah, he so, did. so he had he had two roles in 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 DC's overarching cinematic universe let's call it because there was you know whatever the point is he's been two dc characters so we have him who was the vegan and he did get his vegan powers taken away because he you know had three infractions where he imbibed something not vegan uh he consumed something not vegan but also he he did literally um, Scott literally did uh, kick his face in so hard that he exploded. Chicken isn't vegan. <laughs> no vegan diet. No vegan powers. What are you talking about? It says chicken of the sea. 
Kit, we're going to have a Money. long conversation later about everything wrong with what you just said. Um, Whoa, what? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm it was just though. Jessica Simpson. My God. I'm actually curious about what made him a, a pedophile. He was dating a oh, high schooler. Uh, she was like 17. He's like 20 something. Yeah, he's in his 20s and she's like 16 or 17. 17. That's not a pedophile. That's age of consent in Canada by over a year. Uh, not in the US. Mm. That's age of consent in the US in the vast majority of states, actually. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's all okay. about it's all about the difference in in age between. I thought it was twenty one and, and seventeen. Okay, well, even if we even if we set aside the the pedophile thing, he was still a piece of shit to her. He oh, was no, he, he was a piece of shit to her, and still like like bro, you're in your twenties, like don't date high schoolers, like just don't. That's yeah, like Viv's yeah, it's right. a moral that's a gray moral, area. That's a moral gray area. Just it's just meh. Regardless, he's an asshole. And a creep, because yes. he was creeping on Ramona. He was an asshole to knives. So like, yeah, yeah. Point is, it was toxic. Y- yeah, yes. I mean, no, no one's trying to say he's not a piece of shit, but right. he's not technically a pedophile. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. not statutory that, rape. Okay, I yeah, get it. It's not yes, statutory but when rape. you sure but when you say it like that, that comes off very mm, actually. Right, well, that goes to enforce the he is a creep and a piece of shit, but he's yeah. just not that level of creep and piece of shit, but he's still a creep and a piece of shit. All right. So yeah, he's like 23 and 24 in the comic. So that's it. So in the comic, it's actually worse. But regardless, regardless, like legality of it aside, still creepy, regardless still terrible. Isn't a word. Huh? He said irregardless. irregardless isn't a word. Who said Irregardless. Nobody, don't worry about it. I that lollipop. One. Don't worry about it. I swear to God, I know where the fuck you live. Listen, you're you're about to become my boss. I'm getting this tomfoolery out while I can. Yeah, well, it's not just him, you know. It is not a word, Fritz. I will fight on this one, regardless of what's being going huh? on right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I swear to god, I will I will, I will leave put, and never come back. I will put all of you in separate corners. I swear to fuck. God damn it. You should usually you can just kind of ask. You don't have to swear about it. Uh I couldn't care any less. Anyway, Scott's yeah, terrible. Right. I know that one's the right. movie. The movie is extremely well done. Scott is the actual worst. There we go. Okay. Yes, that is that is all accurate. Okay, so, um, where were we before we got derailed into Scott Pilgrim? You said that you were going to be. You were going to apply to be manager, but you've been burned before at a company that had a totally different management system, so you are hesitating. Thank you. Thank you, Kit. I, I appreciate you for, for keeping me on on task. Yes, the meat fountain. Okay, the meat fountain. Perfect. <laughs> Derail number three. <laughs> so, let me explain the meat fountain, uh, because uh, this sounds very strange. Uh, because who says meat fountain? Well, I do. So meat fountain is a good band name. That's true. That's true. Is it a, is it a fountain that spurts jerky or something? Uh, no. So that's, it's what I call it. It's okay. Have you ever been to a Brazilian steakhouse before? Yes. Okay, so you know how you when you go to a Brazilian steakhouse, typically they will bring the meat out on swords and like get slice it up or whatever at the table to give you your portions, and it's basically all you can eat. It's not basically; it is all you can eat. So delicious. I mean, eventually they will well, kick you out if you don't leave with if you don't leave with the meat sweats. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, it, but basically. also like it takes a lot for them to 
kick you out. It does. It does. You're right. It, 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 Challenge accepted. But it, eventually, you you there are there are places that will kick you out, even if it's all you can eat. It's it's all you can eat up until a point to where you were actually losing the money, and then they're going to say, "Okay, now you can leave." Um, it's happened before. I know people that have been kicked out of buffets before. Um, Just spoken like someone who's been kicked out of a buffet before. I have not. I have not been kicked out of a buffet. I know my limits, and I know theirs. Anywho, um, so there's there's a there's a fairly popular uh, Brazilian steakhouse chain called Texas Day Brazil. Oh, and it's so good. I love Texas Day Brazil. It is one of my absolute favorite restaurants. See, the Simpsons did it first. Um, so I absolutely love Texas Day Brazil. Okay. Cause I mean, it's all I can eat meat. Plus those little like, like Brazilian, like cheese biscuit rolls things, the cheese bread. Oh, oh. Also, also their salad bar. Like they have some amazing stuff on the salad bar. They oh, do. Yeah. They really do. Oh, Kit, really? Yeah, so I'm on. I go Norwegian cruise lines, and I actually got on one of the ships that has the Brazilian steakhouse, and oh, I think it's called Moderna. And I get to go on another ship in March that's gonna have it again, and I'm so excited. Hanger steak. Oh, I have. Oh, fuck I have. Me. I have tangent number four. Once, once we are through this. Okay, so. So I, this is what I call this. So I call it the meat fountain because it's just like a never ending, like overflowing with meat. So I've always called it the meat fountain and that's what I call Texas day, Brazil, really any Brazilian steakhouse, but Texas day, Brazil specifically, because that's the one that I go to here in town because we have one. We're very fortunate awesome. to have one and I love it. And yes. Okay. So before we get on to tangent number four, um, I threatened Lollipop the other day before the manager thing even came up, um, that I was going to get him promoted to a senior developer out of spite. So he would have to go deal with shit that I would, so I don't have to deal with it anymore and make him go to all these stupid meetings that I already go to. And he's like, I don't care as long as I get paid more. Fuck yeah, I'll do it. I'm like. Yeah, I guess that's a good point too. But I was going to do it out of spite, goddammit. And, and so Elena has threatened that if I actually follow through with this, then she will pay for me to go to the meat fountain that I haven't been to in a couple of years because... The darkest timeline. Yes, yes. Uh, so that's what I would like to do. It's, I would like to go back to the meat. I don't even, I don't even, like, I don't even need her to pay. Like Elena, I don't even need you to pay. I just want to go like you do. It's true. You do. You know, you, you understand what I like and I appreciate that. Um, so yes, I would like to go to the meat fountain if she's going to pay for it. F fucking sure. Why not? Um, and if I if I somehow am able to follow through with my threat to get this fucking Iceberg guy good. a promotion, more, ice more good. Oh look, this is fantastic. Um. Uh. So if I actually am able to go through with this threat of getting a lollipop a promotion out of spite, then sure. Now here's where things get a little wonky. No, no, wait. Fourth tangent. Let's go. Fourth tangent before I go any further. Okay, this probably is going to be short, but Ken, have you ever played any of the um, gambling type of games whenever you've gone on a Norwegian cruise line? Yes. Okay, there's a very good chance that you interacted in some way, shape, or form with a system that I have written then. No way! Yeah. You no caused way. me to lose? Yes. Yes. Yes, well, not to, even joking. Like To be fair, just to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Usually to be fair. I use those machines to get cash by inserting my card, putting in 
saying I want a hundred bucks charged to my room and then hitting cash out immediately before I can hit spin. It's a way to mm. get around the ATM fee. That's genius, honestly. Because those ATM fees on those fucking boats are like ten fucking dollars a pop. And it's yep. a good thing I don't it's a good thing I don't work for that company anymore because then I would have to go and try and unfuck that idea. <laughs> That's how that I know about for, it. And that and I spend no it for everyday hustling. Whatsoever. Is why I do not go. Thank you, Kit. I that's part of the reason why I quit my last job is just because I worked with gambling systems and they're all they're all fucking rigged and I hated it, so I quit. Yep, they are rigged, and I appreciate you for quitting that because I've lost a lot of money. Not a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna say the words because you're gonna cue that thing again. I've lost less than five hundred dollars, but I have be been fair. on. Damn it. <laughs> and to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. I can't hear that too many times. Sorry. No. No, it's uh I love it. I've I love lost, everything about I've it. I've lost like two hundred and change in one sitting on the ship just because I had nothing else to do. So I will blame you for that, Lollipop. I used... as long as that is money you're willing to lose, then everything is a okay. I was willing to lose it. I I don't I don't typically play uh, any kind of like electronic gambling machines, um, mostly because I worked on a casino boat. So, like, I've been on the other end of it. I'm I've like, there's there's the front end where you're actually doing all of it, and then there's back end stuff like Lollipop, who's actually building software for these systems, and me, who's actually servicing the machines that you're playing. So yeah. I've done that. That's one Kit. of the many jobs that I had. Kit, look. What? We have a kitten. No! Yeah, she does. She just distracted me. Yeah, she, yep, yeah, yeah. We've lost Kit now. Okay, we've so. We've lost Kit. All right, so now that we're done with Can't Tangent 4. Boy, we're up to four tonight. This is good, and it's we're, we're only oh an God. hour in. We're only at four because I, I've been like stopping myself from stepping in on certain things. I mean, that's. I want that's to finish the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what's going to happen is when they when they hire the new manager for our team, a cruise line full of gambling. I I could do that. We could start our own cruise line with blackjack and hookers. Um, <laughs> sold. Sold. Done. Uh, in fact, forget the cruise line and the blackjack. Um, yeah. We 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 can we can we can briefly talk about signs and cosigns in a moment, but. You know. That has to be Jay. <laughs> he has so much to say. He does. It's true. <laughs> uh, so if I end up getting the management position, that will mean that we will have a vacant senior software okay, engineer bye. role on our team. Which means we can do one of two things. We can hire a senior software engineer from outside. Or promote Lollipop. Or we can promote someone from within the development department and then hire a mid-level developer to fill that role. I, I would like the, the senior position if possible. You just more. want the money. I think Elena wants the money too. Listen. Yeah, but I'm just saying that's what bought. he wants. I know she wants it too. You just want the money. I can I'm be a... bought. I, Wait, yeah. I have to ask. I mean, I can too. Midline versus midline versus senior. Is it like a big jump or is it like two k? It it depends on where you are, but usually it's a bigger jump. Usually it's a bigger jump, especially where we are. We actually pay like market value for our developers not every place does that especially here um but the credit union we work for actually plays or pays market value uh for our developers so they're really good about that plus like this would be one of the first times that if that actually happened to me that i would have gotten that kind of a title upgrade from the from within the same company that's Usu progress 
usually well um, usually you, you don't get that kind of kind of progress in in the same company you got a job hop because there's only a certain number of those kinds of positions available so hmm i would i would have to i would have to hop probably get food and tell us what you got i love you I'm eating chicken soup right now oh my god did you I see mean, the, did you see the chicken noodle soup i made earlier this week yeah. Yeah, yeah me and Bean made so chicken good. noodle soup. It's so fucking good. I um, mean, shouldn't it promote company loyalty, though? I, I understand, like, of course, like, it's limited positions. But, like, wouldn't they want to hire internally anyway because company loyalty and team dynamics and stuff? Yes, well, but... you see, the, the, the big thing is getting the promotion, but also getting the promotion with the pay to go along with it and that's the the thing that's the thing you can get the position you typically don't get the pay to compensate properly and i know this because um remember i said the first time i got john snowed i ended up becoming a manager okay i started at that company as a junior developer a software engineer one because they didn't do junior mid senior They named them Software Engineer 1, 2, 3. Same thing, different naming scheme, okay? Um, So I started as a Software Engineer 1, a junior developer. Inside of a year, I became a Software Engineer 3. They promoted me to a senior dev. Then they promoted me up to manager. I left that management position to go to the other team, the Island of Misfit Toys team. And I took a title cut. I kept my same pay rate, but I took a title cut to go back down to a senior software engineer. Also, uh, tangent number five. At a certain point, the company, because it was, I worked for one company that was at the time a subsidiary, and then they all merged together to become one huge company. Um, when all the mergey stuff happened, they started consolidating a bunch of things, including job titles, roles, responsibilities, full job descriptions, all that shit. The developer job positions, all the, all the, the job descriptions for all the developer roles. I wrote those. So unless they have unless they have changed them dramatically, which I don't think they have the job descriptions and roles and responsibilities and everything that they used for posting jobs and st- uh, storing all that data in their systems now. I wrote all that, so fun fact. Um, okay, so when I took that title cut, I kept my the, the pay rate that I was at when I was a manager, so I didn't have to take a pay cut. Even with the title cut, I was underpaid market value by about ten to $15,000, which... If you think about that for a second, you realize, holy shit, how much was I underpaid as a manager? Oh, boy. With three teams. I had three teams. I had 12, I want to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I had 10 people that reported up to me. Yeah. Yeah, th- that sounds about right. You, you I found out that. So I work for yeah, tangent Elena, number yeah. six, tangent number six or something. Yeah, I think. So we're, we're I work for, <laughs> I work for New York City, right? Civil service. Yeah. If I was to take what I'm doing right now, a uh, senior consultant, public health social worker, and go to the nonprofit sector, I would be making forty thousand more. Yeah. And it's such like you just wonder. Where do you go from here? If there's no more upward movement, eventually, do you just skip out of government or do you go to and go to nonprofit just because it's more, it's what you're actually worth? Yeah. So yeah, standard number six about nonprofits versus civil service. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and ask Lollipop about being underpaid like five years into his career. And his loving girlfriend at the time who showed him the sense. Oh, 
Okay, I want to hear this. Uh, I wish Elena was on mic because I would love to hear it from her, but I'm sure she'll correct anything in chat. I'm sure she will. She she's she's very good at that. She's very good at so, getting all the facts lined up. So Lolly, what happened? What sense did your lovely girlfriend at the time talk into you? Um I this is the job that I um we we had three there's three of us right there was my boss and then there was a more um it like systems focused guy that he wasn't a developer but he knew sql and then there was me who did quite literally all the development as much as as much as we could i did all of it and um the other guy he quit so this is one of those places that is notorious for we're not going to replace the people that quit. Basically, when someone quit, it became my job to automate their position away. And um, so I went to my boss and I was like, so we both know how this is going to go, right? He just quit, which means at least a part of his responsibilities are now on my plate and I want to get paid for that. And he was like, I mean, I can talk to our, one of our CEO, I think it was CEO. I forget CFO. I forget which one he was. And, uh, he did. And he almost, my boss almost got fired for that. Oh, in turn, I almost got fired for that. I didn't get my raise. And then I stuck around for, too long after that much to my loving girlfriend at the time's dismay and protest and she had to figuratively beat me senseless in order to actually do it and then i found a job that paid me like a solid 10 grand a year more for less work though right for less work yes yeah yeah like i'm 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 making considerably more now and doing considerably less work than when I was managing three teams, obviously, because I'm not managing three teams. I'm a, an individual contributor on a, an, a, what several people outside of our team call a high performing team, which in our defense, we got all of our shit for our two week sprint done in one week. So yeah, we're pretty goddamn good at what we do. And we've got like a really good thing going. Um, so, Shout yeah. out Island of Misfits. Misfit Island of Misfits. Island of Misfit Toys went was really good too. Um. So so Lollipop did. Uh, is that is 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 that kind of sense talking into you? One of the many many reasons why that girlfriend at the time is now your lovely wife. I I wifed her. You 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 we did wife her. her. You wifed her real good, bud. Like GG. I gotta tell you, GGs. Mm -hmm. GGs all around. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm, hope you I'm, both get promotions, but we, we, if you want it, it, yeah, like it's, this is a scenario that could very well happen. This is a scenario that could very well happen. Um, I will say this, I'm not even going to make any bones about it. Um, if I do get the manager job and take it, then I will absolutely, you know, that'll be the first thing I suggest is, Hey, we're now, you know, down to only one senior dev. We're going to have a We have a senior dev position open. We need to backfill it. And he's the guy that needs to fill it. I Hi, Silent Bob. He's just purring. Is he doing the purr purrs? Mm -hmm. Found to be a kitten and explore. I don't know if you can hear him at all, but... Yep. I yeah. let the dogs in, and it was a little bit scary, and so I kicked the dogs back out. That's, that's, yeah. Bye, okay, Silent bye. Bob. <laughs> bye. Oh, you missed. You missed the chair, bud. Oh, but he landed on his feet, and that's what matters. Of course he did. He's a cat. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, and and uh, and and Jay is uh... <laughs> Hold 
Oh, Jay's investigating. Who is this? Who who is this cat in the reflection? What's going on? He's doing the big explorer. Oh yeah. So yeah. Um so that hour and fifteen ish minute uh r like really long road trip is um most of what's been going on with me for the last couple of weeks, you know, with our people leaving our team and now me somehow applying for the manager position that I'm going to interview for in the next couple of days. So here's the other thing that, that kind of is like, I don't know, just like, uh, I don't know, just anxiety inducing about it. Everyone that I've told about it and, is like like oh, that I told that our manager was leaving. S their first thing was, are you applying for the job? And one of them, who was our former scrum coach, the one that just left, um, I'm like, why is that everyone's first reaction? And she's like, well, I only say that because my skip boss, uh, our VP, um, told her at one point that if that position, if a manager position ever opened, that he wanted me to apply for it. So I'm like, yeah. like, unless I massively fuck this up, the odds are in my favor. The odds are ever in your favor. It's Hunger Games. It's true. It's true. Winner of District 12? Well, I mean, win winner's a relative term. In Hunger you do a Games and every this. time. Huh? You just do a little bit better every time. You just do a little better each time. It's true. It's true. So yeah, I uh yeah, so I guess we'll we'll see how it goes. I I have a pretty good shot, which I think actually concerns me more. Because then, if I get the job, oh god, I have to not fuck this up. And then, I have to make sure that Lollipop doesn't resent me forever for now being his boss. And I have to say boss things to him like, you're doing excellent work and you're a great asset to the company and let's schedule a one-on-one -on -one and, you know, like, cringy shit like that. Listen... That just means that I have complete access to getting you to uh, sign off on any PTO requests that I might actually need. Yeah, like the two PTO requests, like a year that you put in. It's like every two years. Square doesn't release an expansion that fast. Fair point. Fair point. Uh but wait, but wait, aren't we? Aren't we getting another? Aren't we getting another Hyrule Warriors at some point? Are we? That's, uh, they're just doing DLC for. Or they're just doing a DLC for the moment, and the game, the current one, Age of Calamity, has so many frame rate problems that I haven't. Like we beat it, and then I was kind of just like, okay, free shrugs. It was fun, but I'm not going through that anymore. Like the PTO he has to put in when he schedules four appointments on like one day. Those he doesn't even two. put PTO in for. That's just like, hey, I'm going to be out two. today. It was two appointments and one of them isn't for me who was the other one for my doggo it's because he's a very good boy you see because he's getting old and he needs a tooth pulled yeah Aww. yeah and sometimes sometimes you got to deal with the tooth and stuff but he's a very good boy bowser's a good boy he's such a good boy oh my god he's he was i was his new best friend when i went over to the, that day to 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 go feed cheese to the very good boy who loves cheese. I was there to see the cat, but then the dog made sure that I was I was also there to see him. Dogs are boy. good like that. True, they're they're good dogs, Bront. I'm watching the cat cam. I don't know about you, but I'm watching the cat cam. You are watching the cat cam. 
Mostly you're just watching the one cat just kind of sit there for right now. No, no, the, the other one's on the floor. And yeah, the other one's on, he's looking watching. at the other one. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, the, 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 the Humane Society one? What? No, oh, no, no, mine. No, the second cat is on the floor that the first cat is looking at. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. The, I can't see the other cat. I can only see the one. No, you can't. What? What? But she saw the other cat go down onto the floor. Oh, I and see. And also, you, you can sometimes see the other cat in the reflection of the the thing. So you end up seeing there. See, there see? He is. now you can see him. He's doing a cleaning, I think. After giving himself a bath. Hold on, I have to go ban one of my moderators real quick. Well, who did what? I have to go. Ba- I have to go ban one of the moderators. I know which one. <laughs> uh, uh, not Probably you. Viv. What did Viv do? Absolutely he's got, not. He's got has, enough points to get lost in the sauce. Viv has points. <laughs> I have to prevent this. I have to go ban Viv before he clicks buttons. I don't know. He might not click it tonight. He might wait until fr- Friday. Probably Viv. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Listen, he was keeping up with what's going on. You can't blame him. Like he's out of line, yeah, but I he's was, right. I, I, was, wait, wait, I was looking at I was looking at not Discord, so I didn't uh, I, I didn't see those posts. What? Okay, I gotta I gotta know. It says mm, cranberry sauce, but okay. Wha- first of all, it says cranberry sauce. Okay, sauce. I can't pronounce it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, the New Yorker can't do that. Yeah, that's true. Sauce. That's true. Yeah, she can't say sauce. She's got to say sauce. Huh? Well, it's sauce. sauce. It's sauce, but I was it trying to pronounce it sauce or whatever you yeah. say. Not tonight, though. Well, let's wait until I Friday. Mean... Tonight, tonight we need a chill night where people aren't watching me eat an entire can of cranberry sauce. I yeah. mean, that's that's what happens, Kit. I take this and I open it and I will eat it right the fuck here. Fucking hate Discord. Dude, you know, if honestly, I just go to the store or, you know, order it and just eat it with you. Like, legit. Like, I love cranberry sauce. Listen, listen, drive on down from New York. You're only, it's only like 20 minutes. I got a second can. So, you know, oh, come hang out, bring your cats. Isn't It'll be Ocean great. Ocean Spray brand the best, though, of cranberry sauce. And I mean, oh, we're yeah. coming up to Thanksgiving now. So, yeah, absolutely. It's totally appropriate. You you get oh. all the snugs. You don't have to redeem. You just get a snug. Bean wants Bean asked if she could get a redemption for a snug, but she gets she just gets all the snugs because she's a bean. I mean, she's the bean. Yeah, get a snug. So tangent number seven. Seven. What? You gonna so come, you gonna come see me? Cranberry sauce. Okay, come in. With cranberries or without? Huh? You know, with the whole cranberries or without? Jelly? No, no whole. It's fine. No hole? No just hole? Scoot over. No hole. Just turn toward the camera and just... Because, like, everyone likes way. different things. Don't I, get me wrong. But it's fine. I totally it's fine. feel like everyone in chat right oh, now yeah. should just, like, say what no. their favorite Thanksgiving <laughs> dish is. Hi, beans! <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the high beans have started. Yeah. Uh, Viv is very excited that there was a bean on camera. I know. I also love Viv. He's a very good Viv. It's true. Here this, come the beans. Here come the beans. Here come the beans. I was, I, I was eating. I was eating an Oreo, or my bean would have been much, much louder. <laughs> That's, she she takes off her slipper and holds up her foot. She goes, "Those are her beans. Those are beans. Those are beans. Beans. Don't fall. Those are beans. Beans. Human bean beans." Human beans, human beans. Yo, dog, I heard you like beans, so I put beans on your beans so you can enjoy beans. I thought she was, I thought she was going with a bean chunkla. Uh, no, no, she does that sometimes too, though. She does, she does. <laughs> Lollipop's like, I thought she was going to do like a bean chunkla. I'm like, no, she does that sometimes too. Yeah, not today. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes if... Sometimes if she's, if, if she's, don't, don't. Yeah, she, she will sometimes like either throw it at me 
or she will sometimes just like kick her slipper off at me. Oh, or, you wait, know, a flip flop. Like that. Like that. We got a nice clip here. Goodbye. I just, get out. <laughs> go. You have that's your last one. Go. Go do your last rinse from your from your your sinoplasty. She's very excited. Ooh. She's doing her last medicated rinse from her sinoplasty. So she, and she's breathing better than ever. She hasn't had headaches in like t weeks. She's she's able to smell things better. She's able to taste things better. You've been throwing slippers at my head for years. That's not new. Yeah, I know. She has better aim because her sinuses are clearer. I God, I hope she has better aim because usually she doesn't. And let me tell you, she doesn't hit me in the head. She hit you in the other head? Yes. Maybe just below. Yeah. Uh, it was twice. Lest we forget the avocado. <laughs> In my no-no square. Dom did. He said in my no-no square. That's right. Hey, don't... Don't hit me there. That is my no-no square. I love you. <laughs> he closes the door so that she can kick it open later. No, she actually closed it, closed it, so she can't kick it open. Oh, this is... Yep. Uh, Both kitties are on camera. My kitty was on camera. <laughs> yes. Your beans were on was on camera. My my bean and her beans were on camera. She's a good bean. Even if she, you know, hits me I love in my how no -no Jay square. is just screaming though. Jay is just screaming right now. Oh no! That's, that's what, what just that's do. that's all he does. He's got a lot to say. That's what he does. He's got yeah. He's it's very important. It's very important kitten stuff that he has to say. Yeah, and he has to let us all he, know. He has he has a lot to say, and uh, he's going to make sure that we all know it. It's true. It's true. So um, meow. meow. I I don't oh, know. Oh, he's coming over. You talk to him. Meow. Jay and Elliot to have a Zoom meeting. Where Jay yells and then Elliot oh gets gosh, confused yes. and starts yelling about cheese and then they just yell yes. back and forth. Well, Elliot needs to teach Jay all about the love of cheese. Oh, I'm sure Jay will figure that out all on his own. I'm sure. I'm, I just, I feel like this will turn into like one of those echo chamber things where like you put the two of them up there and like Jay invariably will start it and Elliot will go and then start yelling and then Jay will yell back. And before you know it. <laughs> Like, it's like the Twilight Bark from fucking 101 Dalmatians, where, like, cats all around neighborhoods between here and the D.C. area are all just meowing at each other. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. So, I've I've been rambling on for, like, an hour and a half. Um, how's everybody else doing? Doing all right. Thanksgiving Meow. foods. Okay. So Meow. obviously the jellied cranberry sauce. And yes, we we only eat ocean spray cranberry sauce in this house. Um, I make a killer turkey. I make a delicious turkey. You have a humble request to see the J and Silent Bob? Okay. Let's pop this out for a second. I mean, it, they're not they're not really... I mean, no, but like... I can at least, you know. Yeah, there's there's Silent Bob laying on the, the ottoman there, just chilling. Just just being a kitty. Hold on. Jay's doing the explore. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So he can find more stuff to meow about. There you go. There you go, Viv. There's both meow. babies. And then Lunchbox is just like, dude, chill. And and Jay has no chill. 
has absolutely no chill. Oh my god, he was talking almost the entire ride back. Oh, that's that's to my house. Yeah. Which that's was like toss right An hour there. and a half. Jay, that is toss. That is <clears throat> well, no, you don't really see his butthole. I mean, not like Donnie mm. who likes to show her butt. Like, oh my god, right up to the camera. Oh, but he's doing he's Donnie. doing the turkey leg. He's, he's doing, doing the, the turkey leg. He is doing the he turkey is. leg. Look at him go. Look at them. Look at them. The tasty leg. <laughs> like Tom said about Bubba. Holy shit, I'm delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, that was pretty good. Uh, that was pretty good. Anyway, they're the they're the kitty babies, Viv. They're very very cute babies. Um. So. I mean, so some people I found that some people find this weird. Okay. I love, I just call it sweet potato pie, but it's not sweet potato pie. It's the yams with the marshmallows on top with all toasted That's goodness. That's sweet potato casserole. That's sweet potato sweet casserole. Sweet potato casserole, yes. Yeah, yes, sweet potato casserole. I find some people don't know what that is. Yeah, well. well yeah. Those people are um, missing out. Well, sweet potato casserole is typically a southern dish. So up where you are, it's not as prevalent as it is here. I haven't had the one but, from Boston Market. I got to try that. It's not bad. Oh, it's delicious. Dom, it's not you, homemade, but it's not bad. Dom, do you know what a sweet potato is? If you know what a sweet potato is, it's... Or a yam. A, a yam is... Nope. They're not the same. They're very similar, but they're not the same. Yams are sweeter. Yeah. Probably. Yams are sweeter, typically. And more sturdy. Um, sweet potatoes are softer than yams. Yeah. So it's... It's a it's a it's a sturdier, sweeter sweet potato. Wouldn't a sweet potato sort of be closer to a squash though? Like an like <sighs> I, I think of it like spaghetti squash. Kinda. In the way kinda the, the, yeah. the way it pulls apart and everything. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Cause it's like it's not like a potato where it's starchy and like comes out in like bits. It comes out stringier. Yeah, and I find it weird. You'd think like a sweet potato would be like a potato, but a yam is more like a potato. Yeah. If that made any sense. That probably made no sense. No, I mean, it makes it makes sense to me. I mean, I don't know what the fuck, but I, like anything is, but yeah. So, let's see. Uh the Bindweeder Morning Glory family. It's distantly related to the common potato. They're in the same order, but completely different families. So, so what's its closest relation? Um, morning glory. What's his brother? Believe it or not, what's what's a morning glory? A flower. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know what you know what? what? No, no, not that morning glory. That's not different. the one that's wet and sticky. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh. so sweet potatoes are in the same genus as um morning glories bind weeds moon flowers stuff like that um sweet potatoes it's weird but it's like yeah did you know that there are poisonous sweet potatoes? There are actually poison poison potatoes, but sweet potatoes. Is is that why the Irish famine happened? Uh, I no, I don't think so. I don't remember. I I don't know the exact history of the Irish potato famine. They probably ate a bad sweet potato. That's probably what happened. And they said, I can't turn this land anymore because now I'm throwing up my guts. And so all their land turned to dust and they couldn't grow no more potatoes. And they were all so poor because they're an island that they all immigrated to America. And that's why we now have Irish happy hour. So. Uh... Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm just, I'm just, I'm amused at Dom, you know. <laughs> So, the, the sweet potatoes are in, like, the morning glory flower family. Um, 
potatoes, like potato potatoes, um, they're actually in the nightshade family. Not so, the deadly substance. Nightshade, yes. You can't eat nightshade. Um, but also like potatoes, eggplants, tomatoes, chili peppers, tobacco, petunias, all in the same family together. So yeah, the sweet potato is less related to a potato than a tomato is. Tomato is actually closer related to a potato. I guess that's why they sound the same. Probably, yeah. Yeah, just to keep things simple. I mean, what would you call an eggplant? An egg tato? An egg tato, yeah, that's true. I mean, I just find it weird that, like, some people in New York, I mean, like, my whole family knows it, and my friend's family know sweet potato casserole. Yeah. But it's like, you find people up here that don't, and I'm like, you don't have that thing with marshmallow on top? And they're like, ew, what's that? And I'm yeah, like, no, that's you a, gotta that's, try it. Yeah, sweet potato sweet potato casserole is typically a southern dish. Um, Let's see. Let's go down here. Do, 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 do. Um, and the other thing is, so sweet potato casserole comes in a couple of different varieties. Uh, usually it will, um, you always have the sweet potato and you usually have one and or both of a couple of things, including the marshmallows and or nuts, typically pecans or pecans. 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 Thank you. It depends what you're talking about. Because I say They're pecan pecans, pie. not pecans. They're I pecans, say pecan not pie. pecans. I don't know. I've always said pecan pie, but I'm also from the north. It's true. She is from the north. Well, no, actually, technically, I'm from the south because I'm from Virginia. Oh well, but it's yeah. Close enough to the north. Yeah, yeah. You're but it's, like, it's close you know. enough. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. No, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. I'll show you stop, some stop. You're doing it wrong. How do you say caramel? Rude. Caramel. Caramel. Caramel has three Actually, syllables. I say both. It I, varies I, from moment I, to moment. Yeah, it I say both. It moment. depends on. It depends on what. <laughs> I understood I'm that about. reference. <laughs> I say caramel and caramel depending on what I'm talking about. I I always say caramel. Bean always says caramel. But she also says mom draw. Always says croissant. Well, my mom croissant. always says croissant. 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 And, I, and I'm literally like, no, ma, it's a croissant. I'll get you a croissant. It's a croissant. croissant. <laughs> Unless you go to Burger King, then it's a croissant. <laughs> I do go to Burger King. Best with bacon, with ham, egg, and cheese. Oh, the ham, egg, and cheese croissant, which at Burger King is top notch. They have that now, really good like. Now, give me a sausage, egg, and cheese. From I, from Duncan. Oh, the sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Yeah. Yeah, that's on my that's 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 my Duncan, poison of my choice at the Duncan, man. Hold on, listen, I can. Let me go see if I can pull up my order history. Mine is literally large iced coffee, light ice, maximum skim milk, and maximum chocolate syrup. Ooh, nice, nice. Um, so I will do... Um, sometimes I do mocha, sometimes I do French vanilla. Either way, I do it iced, and I always do extra, extra. Um, Is your extra? I am extra, yes. I, I, I don't even care anymore, yes. Um, well, okay, Dom hasn't had a croissant in like 10 years, because like, that's a delicacy down in Australia, like... They they have to do everything upside down there, and when you're like folding the layers to make the the pastry, it's. I was gonna say, is that one of those things where it's better better if you're right side up for that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Wait, so is a pineapple upside down cake just it's, pineapple cake there? Yes. Gravity, be real. Yeah. Okay, so. Here is, I will show you briefly, just for, this is my last Dunkin' order from a couple of weeks ago. Here's my large iced coffee with extra swirl. 
Uh, I got a donut and I got a donut for me and munchkins for Bean because it's pumpkin season, so I got her pumpkin munchkins. And there's my sausage, egg, and cheese with extra sausage and extra cheese. And she gets a ham, egg, and oh. cheese. Now, she gets hers toasted. I get mine not toasted. I like mine being a yes. little chewier. Yes. I like the Thank chewy. Thank you. Someone who understands the not toasted phenomenon. Yeah, but like you're like you're used to eating bagels all the time and like... You know, you're eating good New York bagels that you gotta fucking chew through. Oh yeah. So like you Speaking know Speaking of, I got bagel locks and cream cheese for breakfast. I can't do locks. Like I don't like smoked salmon. I just Me neither. I don't I love salmon, but I can't do smoked salmon. Yeah, smoked salmon just I... doesn't do it for me. I don't know I don't know what it is. It's just I wish like... I did. Yeah. Like I, I I I do too, but I just I can't do the smoked Wait, so what about gefilte fish? Have you ever tried it? <laughs> I've never tried gefilte fish. I imagine I probably wouldn't like it, but you never know <laughs> with me. I, like, I got a fucking jar of Marmite downstairs, so who fucking knows? Not Vegemite, just Marmite? Just Marmite. And that was, it was there actually brought big over. Big difference. It was I actually don't know. I brought never had over from the UK uh, by a buddy of mine. Yeah, Marmite, England. Vegemite, Australia. Yeah. I never and even had Nutella, different. really. Oh, oh my god, I, I have love a Nutella. jar. Of, wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's gonna show it. Yeah, I no, she actually Nutella has here. it next to her. Oh my god. Yeah. Because I was eating spoonfuls of it the other day. The other day. The other day. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Nutella just basically hazelnut chocolate? Do it, Dom. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's just it's it's hazelnuts and chocolate. That is exactly what it is, and it's delicious is what it actually is. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I have I have double stuffed Oreos. I can dip double stuffed Oreos in my Nutella. Oh, my God. Fun fact. Fun fact. I don't know if you know this. Um, <gasps> Andrew's here. Rawr, 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 rawr. Um, so, fun fact. Uh, I, not a lot of people know this because nobody, like, a lot of people don't keep up with this kind of shit because who cares other than weirdos like me that do. Um but you know the Ferrero Rocher balls? The little hazelnut balls, the chocolate with the little like uh -huh. creamy center? Yeah. Uh, Ferrero. It's not frosting. Ferrero it's not frosting. is the Nutella is frosting. It's frosting. Like it's it's delicious. But like so Ferrero is the company that makes both Nutella and the Ferrero Rocher balls. Cuz oh those are don't those tell me that. Those are hazelnut and chocolate balls. So really all that is is like a an evolved form of Nutella. That's literally all the Ferrero Rocher balls are is Nutella in ball form. You're going to make me go buy Nutella, aren't you? Because yep. I love Ferrero Rocher. Yep. That's like if you like the Ferrero Rocher balls, you'd love Nutella. It's the same goddamn thing. Man, I just got my off my Oreo kit. Come on, man. Listen, you gotta have something new. It's your new vice. If this, if if Nutella is your vice, how bad can life be? You know, <laughs> pretty bad. It's, it's a Bones Day. Go do it. No, it's a Bones Day. It's a Bones Day. Noodle said it's a Bones <laughs> Day. Uh, I know what that means now because I spend time on TikTok. Oh my God, <laughs> Andrea! Andrea gets like no lie. Like she will get like a fucking like pallet of this shit. Not like like a little pallet, but like the actual little pallet that they make. That's like, was it like a a twelve by twelve like stacked up like six high or some ridiculous shit? Oh, Andrea goes through those like fucking wild. She eats the shit out of the Ferrero Rocher balls. Oh God, I can't. I can't even imagine. Mm hmm. I need a salad now, guys. Come on. You do have other vices, but they're not like, you know. I mean. She has some balls in her I mean, okay. So, first of all. Rude. Uh, but second of all, like, I mean, who among us? But, like, yeah. So, let me go to the Costco. And Andrea's, uh, Andrea's up in... in like Costco Mecca, like she's she's in the greater Seattle area where Costco comes from. <laughs> That's why it's called Kirkland Signature because Kirkland is the suburb of Seattle where Costco is based. Oh, um, really? Huh? Really? I didn't even know that. Yeah. To be honest. 
because we just have Costco's and BJ's here. We don't have any Sam's Clubs and we don't have any Walmarts in the metropolitan area. That, yeah, but like, I can, I could, that makes sense to me. Okay, so it's one, two, no. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight by six. It's an eight by six, but like, so yeah, it's, it's 48 in a little box. Well, here, I'll just, I'll just fucking show you. Look, I don't care if you're in Seattle, home of, home of Starbucks and home of Costco. It rains. It's like England, only not. It, it's, it's fine. Like, get over it. It's fine. But this is it right here. And look, 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 it's on sale. Look, they're on sale. Fourteen ninety nine, three seventy Wait. off. Look at that shit right there. I love that. It says peanut free. Yeah, it it is peanut free. It has hazelnuts, but it's peanut free. And it's certified kosher. So you know. There it's you go. These nuts. Oh so for our our kosher Jewish friends, Brer Roche is okay. I know, I gift them on holidays. See, there you go, see? Never stop summer is awful. Oh god. But yeah, there we go. And so. wait, wait. Three pieces are two hundred thirty calories, fifteen grams of sugar. Don't and look at that. Why are you fat. looking at that? Stop, don't look at stop that. Looking at, don't look at that part. Don't look at that. Okay, so let's go Don't look at that. So now let's go look at Nutella. Hey, don't you like kinda have to look at that? No. I mean, you don't have to. And there you, you go. No, Exclusive you don't. distributor, Ferrero USA. Okay, two tablespoons That's is 200 right. calories. Stop looking at that. Okay. Two <laughs> tablespoons are Look, look, calories. it's low in sodium. Look, it's low in sodium. Each serving only has 15 milligrams of sodium, okay? It has no vitamins. It doesn't have First to have vitamins. First ingredient is sugar. It's First ingredient is sugar. It's made of delicious. What the fuck do you want from them? I, I want them to make like a low fat version. <laughs> okay. So you want a you want a less tasty version? Got it. Wait, what's the yeah. what's that versus peanut butter? I'm sort of curious now. All right, let God damn it, we're gonna do this, aren't we? Yeah, because now I'm sort of curious because that may become a replacement. Then all right, let's look oh, at no. oh, oh, no, streams devolved into food. Oh no, who could have saw this coming? Who, who, who <laughs> could have seen it? It's the same goddamn thing. Two tablespoons, 190 calories. But like again, oh, and more fat. It's peanut. Peanut butter is fattier. Yes, peanut is a fattier yeah. nut than hazelnuts are. <laughs> and it's got far more sodium in it too. It's got almost peas nuts. Yeah, it's got almost ten times the sodium. Less sugar. Less sugar. Not by much, but a little. But the potassium, man. Uh, oh, oh, also, so whenever I'm anemic, I actually do eat more peanut butter because at least yes, it has Mike. some iron. So, so like that for me is like also a lifesaver. Rude. <laughs> yes, Mike. So we have, we, I say we because now I'm, okay, let's, tangent number eight. Um, so I'm, I guess since I'm the adultiest adult here, I also tend to be a mom friend, okay? Um, and one of the things that I do as a mom friend is that I will yell at people when they don't eat. Don't I, Allie Pop? In fact, I will use her government name when she hasn't eaten Don't all you day. dare. I, I'm not now. When's What did you eat today? When's the last time you ate? I had that pesto chicken, Parmesan chicken thing. With the green beans? Right, when you were starting. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. See, so right when stream was starting. So you had you had a nice dinner at a sensible time recently, a good dinner. So there you go. So I don't have to yell at you and use your government name. I will do it though. Oh, now, he, he does it frequently. Yeah, well, that's because you frequently, you know, forget to eat. I don't know what you're talking about. So I would never. We don't have to do this with Lollipop very often, but Lollipop does tend to get anemic sometimes. And when he does, he'll start to crave red meat. So like when he starts to really crave a burger, that's when we know that it is time for him to have some red meat because he does tend to get anemic. And so, like, this happened, what, like, a week and a half ago, maybe? Where you were trying to figure out what you wanted, and I convinced you to get Wendy's because you were feeling kind of eh, and you were craving a burger, and we know what that means. <laughs> and so, I'm like, go get yourself get yourself a Dave's Double. And he did. And he had himself a, a burger, and he felt better afterwards. So, so there See, we go. I only know I'm anemic when I start craving ice. Craving ice? Yeah, it's an actual iron deficient anemic thing that huh. if you start craving ice, it's a specific type of pica associated with moderate, mild to moderate, and of course severe, but iron deficiency anemia. That's how I know that I'm about to become severely anemic and I need to go get iron infusions. Wow. Today I, I mean, learned. I'm just... Uh, it, my, my, how, do I, how do I phrase this? Mike's just over here. Nothing <laughs> about me is wrong, like, medically. It's just, like, my, I'm Sicilian, so I'm just anemic a bit. Like, my grandma was anemic. It's a it's a hereditary yeah. thing, so it's just, I got to keep an eye on my iron levels is basically it. Yeah. You're lucky your body tells you, like, I want meat. Yeah. Like, seriously, well, like, that's amazing. Well, it. I used to just eat burgers like all the time. So it was never really an issue, but like as I've gotten older, I've started eating a lot more chicken instead of other red meats. So, and chicken distinctly has less iron in it. Also. Yes. You got to eat that spinach, man. <laughs> Listen. Okay. You, now you kit, you've known him longer than I have. You know, this boy is a picky eater. He is the pickiest eater I know. Which that being said, which says some things. I do put when I make smoothies. I do put. I have been putting spinach in it. It's just. Oh. I know, I know, but like, if you do it the right way with the right other ingredients, you don't like. You don't taste the spinach really. Oh, Chick I taste the spinach. It's just chicken isn't vegan. Um, good enough. So Bean got these. Um, she has these these food pouches that she got that have spinach in them, and <clears throat> they don't like she can't taste the spinach, and she can taste spinach like she can taste raw spinach. She hates raw spinach, um, because it like it her her body is just like nah man I'm not into this, um. But she will have them in these food pouches and she loves them. Ah. Uh. As a kid, the only way you can get me to eat my vegetables, and I'm talking like up till age nine, was jarred baby food. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, Andrea, that's just Andrea, is. that's true. Dana could make that happen. She could like will that into existence. Also, hi Ayla. Ayla's gonna come play uh, uh, Amogus with us on Sunday night. Ayla, I'm wearing my Victory or Valhalla shirt. She is. It's true. I seen it. And and my 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 kittens are both resting. also also she does have the kittens too it's true yeah um so yeah uh spinach I like I I really like spinach um I I love it I will I will eat spinach like all the time if I could yep um and like the thing that kills me is like. For the last several years, everybody's gotten on this whole like kale as a superfood kick. It's like, oh, it's like first of all, kale's trash. You know what kale is? Kale is the fucking garnish they put on the the fucking salad bar at the Ruby Tuesday. Uh, second of yep. all, that's that's what it's good for. Uh, second of all, spinach is 
better digestible and has better nutrients in it than fucking spinach do, or than kale does. So it's like spinach. If if kale is a superfood, then what the fuck is spinach? Because spinach is better tasting, better for you, all around. Like it's fucking great. You could do so much more with spinach. I mean, would you eat a kale roll? No, you'd eat a spinach no. roll. Hell yeah, I'd eat a spinach roll. Would you eat kale and artichoke dip? No, you eat spinach no. and artichoke dip. It's delicious. I love how we're destroying it by putting it with a bunch of cheese. D- listen, I, I, cheese is high in protein. I I love some spinach. Spinach is great. You know what else is high in protein? <sighs> we get the she gets a ready. <laughs> oh, I already know. I was. I knew. I knew exactly where that was going. It's true. It exactly. Does, it, it gives Popeye a strength. It does give Popeye a strength. <laughs> I'm Popeye the funny, sailor man. All, all of the shitting on kale gives me a, a Dragon Ball Z abridged reference that I'm just thinking of. Oh my god, of course it does. There's always one. There's Cause, always one. Because Sally eats a, a, a senzu bean at one point, and he's just like, yeah, suck it, kale, you Bush League superfood. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, ooh, ooh, Viv, Viv, you got good news. I like good news. I like good news. Um, I want to know. Also, She's going to a, Br- a Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, God, yes. That's amazing. Also, uh, tangent number 10. Um, God, we're getting into double on? digits tonight. This is great. Um, so if you go back and you uh, read like the original Popeye comics from like the 30s and shit, Popeye, original non-binary icon. So, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Popeye had a tendency to dress like a woman and not identify with any specific gender. That's 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 like kind of like the deeper lore be- behind like I am that I am and that's all that I am. Like like they they address that specifically in certain points in the comics, but Popeye is canonically non-binary. <laughs> so like fucking go Popeye. <gasps> That's because she's your kid, Viv. She got that good Viv brain. She's a smart little she's nugget. She's so smart. That's amazing. You got a smart one there, Viv. It's true. But we it's knew true. that because, because yeah, she comes from you. She get she's it going from, to MIT. And she she's get a it from smart her daddy too. Or Harvard or Yale or like one of the other places. But she's going there. <laughs> I don't know. You said you said Harvard, then you said Yale, and all I could think about is the Family Guy where Peter kidnapped the Pope, and he's like, and Peter's like, yeah, this is Boston, and they're drive by, like they're out in the country, like heading back to 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 Quahog, and like he's like, look, there's Harvard, and the Pope's like, that's just a barn because <laughs> it's actually a barn, and Peter goes, ooh, someone went to Yale. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, their oh. rivalry is apparently legendary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Legend. Wait for it. A dairy. You're a legendary. You're a legendary. Um, also, yes. R.I.P. Robin Williams. Jesus. Fuck. Uh, yep. I don't Favorite know Robin that I'll ever get over movie. that one. Favorite what? Robin Williams movie. Um... Jumanji's is the first one that I can think of that comes. Well, um, Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm sorry, I forgot about Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Um. 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 What was the What was the one where he was a teacher? Uh, Dead oh, Poet Society. Oh, poets. Dead Poet Society. Dead Poet, Dead Poet Society. Society. That's a, that's an excellent Ooh. one. Yep. Ooh, I went on the Disney Cruise Line when Flubber was still like new and exciting, and mm-hmm. I got to make Flubber. You got to make Flubber you as a kid that. on the Disney Cruise. That's I got to cool. make Flubber. Yeah, that was. It was always it was amazing. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that was that was a tough week for I mean, a lot of people. That was tough it, for a lot of people. It was heartbreaking. Yeah. Yep. But I will say that all his movies were amazing. Yeah. I originally thought Flubber, then I thought Mrs. Doubtfire. But you have Mrs. to Mrs. Doubtfire is really good too. You have to go with the underrated Patch Adams sometimes. Patch Adams Ooh, is good. Really you know what a lot too. of people don't think of anymore? Toys. Toys was an excellent Robin Williams movie. Why am I not putting two and two together? So Toys, what was he? Uh, 
Toys was in 1992. Um, and this, like, eccentric toy maker is, is dying. Um, and he leaves the, the company to his, I think it's his, his, uh, younger brother. Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, I gotta go find this now. Yeah. Yeah, very, very good movie. Wait, what's in Flubber? Yeah, Lolly, what's in Flubber? That was many, many years ago. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I was about to say, that's longer than a week ago. He doesn't know. The smoking that was, jacket. That was yep. definitely, definitely more than the last sprint to go. Yeah. Anything longer than two weeks? <laughs> gone. I sort of remember Bicentennial Man. Bicentennial Man, yep, 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 yep. And of course you have, like, Good Morning Vietnam and everything like that. I mean, he was in so much. He was. He was in a lot of things. And then, of course, let's not forget, like, movie roles Aladdin. aside. Well, and, yes, he was Genie and Aladdin. But movie roles aside, Mork from Orc. Mork and Mindy. Mork, oh, Mork fucking and Mindy, Mork from yeah. Orc. Yep. Yep, that's where his career really took off. Was uh, when he was, because he was, Mork was a character, like a, a bit character they created for a couple episodes of Happy Days. And then Mork and Mindy was a spinoff of Happy yes. Days. I always so, forget that it was a spinoff because, like, it just, yeah. Happy Days had a lot of spinoffs. Like um, Joni and Chachi. <laughs> Joni loves Chachi. Uh, Mork and Mindy. Laverne and Shirley. Uh, out of the blue. Um, there was the. Then there was the time he was on Who's Line. Also, yes. Oh, that is the best episode of Who's Line, I feel. Also, that yes. That and Richard Simmons. Oh, Richard Simmons, yeah. Oh, Richard Simmons. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I wonder whatever happened to Richard Simmons. He's apparently still around the last I looked last year. Yeah, he's a, he's around. He's just, like... Quiet. He just, yeah, he, he hides out, man. I, which, honestly, like... After after his whole like huge surge and everything in like the the seventies and eighties, I yeah, like that was that was a lot to 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 kind of happen and and then zoop. Oh yeah, that's from September twenty nineteen, but yeah. Oh, twenty nineteen, yeah, woof. But come on, those those workout videos. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> they were the best. <laughs> oh, listen, eighties kids remember. Eighties kids remember. Yeah, that was uh. I'm. I'm born in eighty nine, so I don't count. No, you don't count. I'm... No, you were no. That's. Do I count? I was born eighty five. Yeah. No, you absolutely yes, you count. Can. Yeah, you count. I was I was eighty six, so I count. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Allie is the most eighties kid of all of us here. So millennial to, versus Gen X. No, 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 no. I'm still a millennial. She claims millennial, like she. she no, 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 no. She. No, no actually, I am a millennial. No, she, she's a zennial. She, she, she's a zennial. Yeah, she she fights she fights anyone who tries to go anywhere near Gen X with her. Because I. I mean, listen, like. Nice. That's true. That's true. Nice. Nice. Actually, Fritz, you're a zennial because you're in that 79 to 82 gap. No, you can't. See? You can't bridge. You can't make up a, a, a generation that's in between two generations by naming it. They're all made up. I know, but I mean... The whole like, thing's made up. Everything's made up and the points don't matter. Basically, you're either a boomer or a millennial. There's just That's just it. I know, Gen X is quiet now. It's not that they're, they're quiet. It's not that Gen X is quiet. It's just that everybody's forgotten about them and ignored them their entire lives. 
you you either die a millennial or you live long enough to see yourself become a boomer. That's also true. Just, I mean, the whole thing is the Oregon it's Trail generation. A millennial, yep. uh, it's a millennial. It's a millennial with Gen X values. Yeah. Okay. Viv, good night, that, buddy. I love yeah. you. I have not died of dysentery. Stop it. Don't ruin my Oregon Trail, man. I'm oh almost there. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No one ever like gets there. Utah. No one has. I'm like near Utah. No one has ever beaten that game, ever. No one. With their whole family intact. No, no one has ever beaten that game, ever, Kit. It just hasn't happened. No one's ever beaten that game. Has anyone Love your face, uh, Vivian. Has anybody what? Beat where in the world? Yeah, I've beaten where in the world. I'm an idiot. I I love the '90s TV show. We Where okay. In the world is Carmen San Diego. We talked about this several weeks back, but like I went into this whole thing about it because um, we talked about game show resurgences and how game shows have made a comeback, um, and like ABC is carrying the bulk of them, but like now we don't know if it would hold up as well just because like. I don't know. Like everybody's so used to looking things up now, mm. like that that knowledge is so more accessible. But like, Legends um, of the Hidden Temple is coming back. Isn't Legends it? of the Hidden Temple is coming back. Yes, yes, it is. The and silver the, monkeys. That's and the right. Purple parrots and the green barracuda. Uh, yeah, I think so. There's the orange barracuda. That was my childhood. Nickelodeon, Snick. 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 Yep. Saturday Night Nick. That's right. And, and and before that, TGI Friday. Yep. TGIF. Do you? Okay. Okay. Not a lot of people remember this show. Do you remember it was the first fully computer animated TV show? But do you remember was Reboot? It? Yes. 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 I fucking loved Reboot. I loved re Reboot. It was, what was that? Saturday morning cartoons, right? That was on, yeah, I think that was on, um, on Saturday, on ABC Saturday morning. Yeah. I went between that X-Men. Yep. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original Dar -dar -dar. all up to Zio. Okay. Dar -dar. And there was also something else. Oh my God. What was it? Not. Power Rangers, but it was sort of like Power Rangers. It was a not VR Troopers. Party. Yes, VR, VR Troopers. VR Troopers. I remember that too. You can't do that on television where everybody kept getting slimed. Yep. I remember when I was a kid, I was like four or five years old going to Nickelodeon Studios where they had the slime fountain and everything. And then I yes. also got to walk around because, like, one of the tours that you could do at Nick Studios in Orlando was you could walk around on the catwalk around the set of uh clarissa explains it all so you could see oh the actual god. set of the show um which was really oh my cool god yep that was the beginning of melissa joan hart yeah and then they also had the ride the um the flintstones meet the jetsons the ride which was really cool um i also did this thing there where like you got to learn about um foley artistry the the art of where they make sound effects for tv shows and movies and um, there was like, y you basically got to, to do out a scene where you are, were essentially Foley artists. And so like, there's this big thundery, like stormy scene and someone's walking through a house with like creaky stairs. So like you had one person on like the big metal sheet doing like the, like the, the shake on it to make the thunder, thunder sound. And you had one person like doing the creaks. Like, with like their mouth then and you shit. had the footsteps and then you had like the footsteps with like the, the like the 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 blocks and shit oh yeah i think they had that now. at universal well it was like remember because that was all like a big compound like it was yep. all like like nick and universal were basically together so like it, you really didn't go to one without going to the other you know so yeah that was god Memory lane. Yep. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that too. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Which story scared you most as a kid? Do you remember any of them? I didn't. No, I don't remember any of them because I didn't watch a whole lot of it because, like, I wasn't into scary stuff. Like, it never bothered me, but I just, I wasn't into it. So it was just something that I didn't watch a whole lot. Um, I did watch, I did occasionally catch, it was, because they usually played it in, like, back-to-back, -back, was Hey Dude and Salute Your Shorts. Oh, God. Yep. Camp on a wanna, we hold you in our heart. And, and when, when we, we think, think about, about you, you, it makes it me makes wanna, me wanna fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's I hope we never part. Now get it right or pay the price. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh 90s Nickelodeon days, man. Um let's see. There was Oh, what was the What was the like the the sport competition show that Omar Gooding hosted? Guts. No, before guts. It was before guts. Double dare? No, no, no. This was this was kind of like guts, but it was before. Hold on, I gotta find it now. Um, wild and crazy kids. Fritz, I don't even remember that one. Wild and crazy kids. Yes, yes, that was it. I'm like Do I'm. I just have a gap in my memory now. I didn't have cable growing up, so I didn't watch any of these shows when they were when they were first on. I I'm, think I'm I got cable sure. around twelve. So that was nineteen ninety seven ish? Nineteen eighty six maybe. <laughs> Don't laugh. Yep, that wild and laughing. crazy that was crying. <laughs> yeah, wild and crazy kids. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That was the one. So yeah, Wild and Crazy Kids was basically like the precursor to Guts. Oh, but I loved Guts. That last challenge, I just considered Guts like kids version of, uh, oh my god, American Gladiators. What was it? The uh, Yeah, it was. It was. It absolutely was. What was it? The, uh, the aggro crag? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the big giant mountain at the end that was like, like the rocks and were falling down. And blocks at you. Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Wait, so Allie, what did you watch as a kid? Remember? I'm old. Oh, please. Well, it wasn't like the Constitution after school special, I hope. And I'm just a bill. I I literally don't remember. I'm just a bill. Yes, an ordinate. Well, pfft. nope. Are you sitting there on Capitol Hill? <laughs> Hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Remember it? I watched that in elementary school. They put it on for us. But okay, so if they're bringing all these shows back, yeah. But our attention span is so low. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's good, but at the same time, it's like, what are the ratings going to be? Well, like, are they going to keep getting renewed? Uh, I mean, I guess we'll see. So, uh, Double Dare came back, um, I, and I don't know how it fared because, like, it came back right before the pandemic. Like, not terribly long before the pandemic, I guess. Yeah, because, like, the, the, the revival started in mid-2018 and went to the end of 2019. And then, you know, by that point, we're, like... The pandemic started not long after that. Like, yes, the pandemic's like that. All that precursor stuff started at the very end of 2019. Like, right. And the, the next fuck? season would have been like, what, February 2020? Probably something like that or not long after. But yeah. Um, and uh, Fremantle was the company that did the production for the revival, too. Fremantle has the rights to like. They are like the game show company now because they have all of these old fucking game shows that they bought up the rights for like for years and years and years. And that they, they, so like all of what was, um, Goodson Productions, 
Um, so Mark Goodson and Bill Todman and all that stuff. So like all of the popular game shows from like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, they own all of it, which is why they're able to make like they're they're they've been doing all, all this revival for the last several years because they own all of this shit. So they own shit like the price is right. They're still they're the production company for it because that was um, Goodson Productions. They own Press Your Luck. They own the Match Game. They own um, um, To Tell the Truth. Like basically any game show that comes on ABC, Fremantle owns it. So they also own a an online streaming and a cable uh, or a uh, an over the air broadcast channel called um, Buzzer, which sh- it's all the buzzer is, is them showing all of this stuff. Um, like all the old game shows, um, like password, like password in its variations and, uh, tattletales and like old episodes of match game and shit like that. Uh, yes, Amy, I have seen the new, a couple of the new episodes of Price is Right. It's better. Yes. Let's make a deal. Fremantle owns Let's Make a Deal. Yep, they own that too. Yeah, any any game show that's not Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy, yep. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Like, yeah. I mean, I like watching the old stuff, but like the revivals of them, like Press Your Luck. I don't know why. I guess maybe the production values are better, so it feels more modern. Like watching the old shows of Password and all that, it's sort of weird. I I, I enjoy pyramid. it, but I I like the nostalgia of old game shows. I'm just I'm just like that. <gasps> Supermarket Sweep. They also have Supermarket Sweep. Oh it, yeah, because they have the revival with Leslie Jones, which is pretty damn good. Gotta say. But um, I still like Guy Shopping Spree. I think that's oh what's Guy's called. Grocery Games. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love me my Food Network. Oh yeah. Oh, I stopped and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching Guy's Grocery Games before I came up to do stream tonight. What's my line? And to so tell the good. truth, yeah, like the old, like the old, like fifties and sixties oh, versions so of that. Old. Yeah, like they will show the black and white versions of that on Buzzer. You can go to like I think it's like buzzertv.com. But is uh, it also on Pluto? Because I think I've seen it on Pluto. On a lot of that's on Pluto too. Um, and they have like a deal with them because Pluto is owned by Paramount, which owns CBS, who owns the broadcast rights to The Price Is Right and Let's Make a Deal which Fremantle produces, and as part of all of that agreement, they have a couple of channels on Pluto, including The Price is Right, The Barker Era, which I will watch yep. during the day a lot, too, because it's like like a couple of seasons from like the early to mid-'80s that they show. Dude, they have classic Doctor Who on there, too. They do. They have, like Pluto has a bunch of old shit on there. It's really cool. Like They have a channel that is all Wipeout. You remember Wipeout, the obstacle course game? <laughs> Um, they even have, I'm like looking at it right now. They have also Hell's Kitchen, Survivor, Amazing yep. Race, the Challenge, yep. Fear Factor, Wipeout. Uh, and that's just like some of them. But if you look at like a lot section. of those, if you look at a lot of those shows, they're either like they, the distribution rights or the production rights are owned by CBS or Paramount, which is all under that same umbrella now. So like you get a lot of the older stuff that you know you do, don't really get anywhere else so like paramount plus their streaming service has all that new stuff now but like pluto has all the old stuff that that they don't have on paramount yeah, right plus. now on buzzer is card sharks next is match game hollywood squares hour and then it's classic concentration classic concentration hosted by alex trebek oh your face damn no I'll you know what face. reverse yeah, your face. Yeah. Oof. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, buddy. I'll show. Get I'll, I'll show you a face. Is that a face? You fucking won't. Where are you, you gonna put your face? The IRL. Where are you gonna put your face? <laughs> no, you dabs. Where do you want my face? You don't. You don't, you. you don't want me to answer that. <laughs> Where do you want my face? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get. We'll get in trouble. You both get a lewd for that. <laughs> Is that toss? Yes, I didn't get a lewd. Yeah, no, no, you didn't get a lewd for that one. You, you were, you're in the clear this time. I set it up, but I didn't send it home. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, there is. <laughs> oh my god. Um, 
All right, we only have a couple of minutes left. Is there anything else that would that y'all would like to talk about that we haven't covered tonight in all of my Cross rambling Cross your fingers bullshit? that I get my house. Yes, yes. So uh, Allie has put in an offer on a house that she's trying to get. Um, crossing our fingers because if all goes well in the next day or two, it should be under contract, which is basically, so, like for those of you who aren't, aren't aware, who've never went through the home buying process before, once it goes under contract, it's you basically have paperwork that says, I intend to buy this house, and the owner intends to sell it to me. So then you just, from there, you, you go through all the paperwork for like the, the lending and the title and all of that shit. So um, Millennial living in New York City, what's a contract? I mean, I was, understand it, but yeah. There was like one late offer coming in, but as of everybody else, I'm the high bid. Mm. Congrats, congrats. Uh, I want this fucking house. All right, okay. Ugh. Millennial living in, in, in New York. Um, you know your lease? Yes. Imagine if you got to own the place. But, but uh <laughs> no thank you. I don't want to pay water, electricity, gas, uh heating. Wait, you I don't, don't have to pay have any to be... of that renting it? No, that's all so built in, in a lot in a, of places. I live in a co op. Not a co-op, but yeah, a co-op, but it's like a Mitchell Lama. So long story short. It's a what? It, it's a m low middle income housing, basically subsidized. So lo oh. long story short, I get to run my AC 24-7. Because she doesn't have to pay okay, extra for electricity. Bad. I get to do that you're too. Using, but you're just using it's a just word really I, I didn't, I didn't, I've never heard before. But yeah, uh, usually all that's included, but that's why I don't want to own a house. Because like you have to repair shit yourself. Yes. I mean Isn't that right, yeah. Lollipop? Isn't that right, Alipop? <laughs> Shut up. Thirteen and a half thousand dollars later. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. Wow. I just okay. have more uh -huh. So this is so I was just just real quick before before we we, we start to wrap up. Uh, I was just scrolling through Twitter. And the, there's someone retweeted something. And the retweet comment says, yeah, sex is great, but have you ever been handed the chance to make the perfect headline and wholeheartedly taken it? The headline is from a little, about, a little over three years ago from BGR, Boy Genius Report. And the headline is, we're talking about like planetary stuff here in our solar system. A massive object devastated Uranus a long time ago, and it never fully recovered. <laughs> well. That reporter gets a lewd. <laughs> well fucking done. And I think that is a perfect time. Speaking of game shows. Okay, Kit, Kit, do you know your game show lore pretty well? No, but you could still lay it on me. All right, that sound that I just played, do you recognize that sound? That's the stop sign for, oh God, that's the end of the game for, is it Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yes! Yes! Well done. Well fucking done. I'm, you know what? And that's... she wins a new car! Yeah, I, I have that queued up and ready to go at all times, by the way. Just, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh, boy, I, I have missed group therapy night. This was just an absolute fucking treat. Um, I appreciate y'all being here, uh, especially y'all being here on voice with me. Um, I appreciate all of you who are out there in the chat and watching. Um, Is that what you appreciate about us? I want you to take about 20% off there, Squirrely Dan. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. Reverse. Reverse. Yeah, I guess you make, an, you make a good point, Dom. You do make a good point. Um, so, Friday. Friday, we are playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 Woo. We are playing it with our very good friend, Ray. Uh, if you're not following Ray, go follow Ray. There's a link to his channel in the chat. Uh, Ray is wonderful and a sweet gay angle baby. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Sunday we're being sus. 
Kit, you gotta come play. You gotta come be sus with us. At seven thirty, I'll see if I could be on. Okay. All right. I, I would I would love to have you there. I know you can't do Mondays now because you got um, you got D and D running now. I'll still pop in. I know, and that's what and that's what I appreciate about you. Is that what you appreciate about her? <laughs> I like to pop up in random places. It's true. I bet you do. What she said. Oh my God! I'm, nobody gets a lewd. I have I have I have I have deemed it so. Uh, Thunder gets a lewd. I, what do I get a lewd for? For not giving us a lewd. That's not a lewd. <laughs> how's that? A, no, that's not how lewds work. It's not even how it works. Oh, so, so are you saying I should pop up in the morning and spread my morning glory? There spread we your morning go. wood. There we go. Lewd. And that's yes, why. I, first lewd tonight. That's why I have a button for Kit. Um. Okay. So yeah, Friday we're playing Star Wars Battlefront Two Woo with Ray. Sunday we're being sus. Monday I'm back in fourteen. Staying as far away from MSQs as possible. Um, and that is Actually, about it. Finished all my side quests all the way up through uh, Stormblood, so I'm just doing Shadowbringer side quests now. See, there you go. See, now you can listen. Eventually, I'll be able to do side quests with you. I just, Dom, I just want to do every side quest possible. I spent weeks doing nothing but MSQs. And is you my really love side quests. As my, I'm not doing coils yet. And as my reward to myself, I'm doing side quests for a while. I'm back on my bullshit. So that's it. As if you're ever really off your bullshit. You listen here. Hey. Listen here. What? Hey. If I want any shit from you, Hildebrand. Hey. Also, yes, Hildebrand. That's true. Um, hey, buddy. Yeah. You uh, you you reached your goal there. I did. I did reach my goal. Um, so. How many of those were Mike? I think like eight of them. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Mike himself, so eleven. Yeah, eleven. Well, it's called uh, networking. It works. <laughs> it's called networking. <laughs> um, so. What's called? I I think that's what it's called, Matter. I I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Matter just shows back up at the end of the fucking show. Said I had new world trauma that had to be taken care of. Oh, that's fair. Oh, dear. That's fair. Said, you know, transfers opened up. Oh. oh. You need to tell me all about it because I'm curious. That was, that was my group therapy that I came for. That's you know what? You, listen, bud. You you got to do what you got to do. You you have to practice self care. And if your self care is transferring characters to a different server. Buddy, you go for it. You do what you gotta do. Well, is that is all, that what you come for? Ours all came down to uh it's not what I he come comes for. hard for it. Load, load, load. I usually daily. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. We're we're getting the fuck out of here. Only once a day. We get down. Yeah, we're we're heading out. Yeah, he always he always stops at ten. Alright, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's nine oh three, thank you. Uh we're we're gonna we're we're going to go see fire. Uh, we haven't seen, we haven't gone to raid fire in just a few. Um, Fire's amazing, and we love him very much. Uh, he is a Minecraft streamer and uh, a very dear friend of ours. Um, so we're gonna go raid him. The raid message, where is it? There it is. Beautiful. Oh yes, Lark, we're going to see fire, whether you like it or not. That's just the fucking way it is. Also, regardless is a word whether you like it or not. No, oh, it's God's fucking sake. not. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Irregardless of your opinion, yes, it is. Fuck's sake. I... Just bye. <laughs> Listen, guys, I could care less. I'm loading up I'm... the fire as couldn't we care less. Fire. Good. I could care less. Yeah, you let's could get out care less. And with that, let's get out of here less. before this completely derails. We're, we're done. <laughs> we're fucking done here, people. Goodbye. <laughs>